Hello, my name is Victor Goins, and I'm a member of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra. I play clarinet, I play tenor saxophone, and I'm here to speak to you about how to work on your technique in the higher register of the clarinet. For me, working on the upper register of any instrument is just like working on the lower register. The clarinet is the instrument that's overblown by the twelfth, meaning that you have, if you put down one, two, three, along with the thumb, in the left hand, you will get a C without the register key. But as soon as you press the register key, you get a G. Now, like the saxophone, you can play things by just pressing the register key and you'll get a whole nother melodic kind of sound up an octave. The clarinet, that doesn't work. It, it brings you to another key. So you have to be very familiar with what's happening in the different registers of the clarinet. It's just not a repetition of the octave. So one way you can do that is by taking different melodies that you may know and working on them in different registers, particularly the high register in this case, so you can become very familiar with it. For instance, if I just took something like... Just that much of it. So what you can do is take that melody and work it on it in the next octave of the clarinet. You can take it up yet another octave. It's going to be a little high, but... So just take that little bit of it can become our exercise. And then we take that, and we can start maneuvering through different keys. Remember, we're all individuals, so we have to find out what our own personal challenges are. So if that's your challenge, playing in the upper register, you want to work on it in all keys in terms of developing your technique. So just that, that interval of a half step back up to a fourth. Then I would take it down a half step. And then another half step. You want to put on a metronome and make sure that you're playing it in time slowly so that you can become very familiar with it. So. You want to be familiar with all of the fingerings on your instrument. For instance, when I did that one, that started on a C, the fourth interval is from a C to an F. So I played the F in a very traditional fingering that someone might use, which is second finger, third finger, pinky, with the octave key and the register key. But then we have what's called the long F, which is like a low, like the D, which is on the fourth line. But then we press the G sharp key. So I want to be familiar with both of those. Remember, practice what it is you want to play in the registers that you hope to play it in. Don't just practice all of your great melodies and musical ideas in the lower register because when the time to go up high presents itself, you won't be familiar with it. Take those same exercises that you practice in the lower register, practice them up very high in terms of the register of the clarinet, practice them very slow so that you can become familiar with the instrument, the fingers, and the cross fingers that are taking place. You want to make sure that your sound is still good, that your precision is good, that you're swinging along the way, that you can play at different dynamic levels, and have a good time. So that's my recommendation on how to work on technique in the upper register of the clarinet. My name is Victor Goins. I'm a member of the Jazz at Lincoln Center Orchestra, and we'll see you soon.